Hey guys, I'm Chris Ty Walker, and today we're doing a dynamic warm up. A dynamic warm up is a way to warm your body up really efficiently because when you come to your workouts, you want to work out really hard. And if you're not warmed up properly, you can push it. So, here, five ways to a dynamic warm up. Exercise one, really simply, here it goes. Standing, nice parallel stance. Opposite hand, opposite leg, little jog. And opposite hand, opposite leg. Again, we're gonna stretch those hamstrings. Get your abs going, get your glutes going. So stretch, jog, jog, jog. How about you do 10 each side, okay? Jog, 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 and stretch. And down, nice and high, guys. So if you haven't got very flexible hamstrings, you can't go as high. Be a little lower. Jog, 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 a little lower. Stay within your own range of motion. It's so important. Don't overextend. If you haven't got that flexibility, I don't want you pulling something during your first warm up. Here it is, exercise two, a lunge and a twist. So we've lunged before, we'll lunge again. Here it is, you lunge all the way out, okay? Nice, deep lunge. Make sure that knee, again, stays directly over that heel. I don't want you going too far forwards. Back leg nice and low, arms up, rotate in. Keep that hold in the lunge. Back to neutral, rotate out. Really push it, please, and breathe back, guys. So make sure you breathe out as you push backwards. Gotta do the other side. All the way out, rotate in, breathe. Rotate out, nice stability and push back. So I'm going to show you from the side for that lunge again. So really make sure that lunge goes all the way forwards. Get down nice and low, right angle, right angle. Knees down, chest is up, abs are pulling, arms come up. Rotate in first, back to neutral, rotate out, back to neutral. Again, we exhale as we push backwards, engaging that butt. One more time for the other leg. Down, nice and deep, hold, rotate in, breathe out, rotate out, breathe back to neutral, and push. There you go, guys. Exercise two. It's a lunge with a twist. All right, here it is. Exercise three. Alternating pivot squats. Sounds complicated. I know. We're going to stand neutral, okay? Shoulders up, chest up. It's a squat, guys. So what's the most important thing? Those legs go nice and wide. Really get that squat super deep. As we stand up, we rotate that hip back in to neutral, and we high knee. One, two, three. Little cardio. Get your heart rate racing. It's a warm up. You got to get ready for that workout. Left side, all the way around. Squat it down nice and deep. Again, breathe out, stand yourself up, and high knee, one, two, three. Here's the thing, my beginners, you don't have to high knee that high. Go round, squat down nice and deep, bring it back, my beginners, just a little one, two, three. You haven't got the range of motion in your hips, it's okay. Stay nice and low, one to go. Left side, get down real low, bring it round. I'll do the advanced version, one, two, three. There you have it, guys. Now, exercise four, one of my favorites. Down on the floor, it's a bird dog with a crunch. Here we go. Down on the floor on all fours, hands and knees, please. Shoulders underneath the, over those hands, hips in line with those knees, okay? So you're gonna take one hand at a time, extend it forwards. For the advanced version, you're gonna pick that opposite leg up, nice and straight. Hands, shoulder, head, back, butt, heel, all in line, okay? I don't wanna see you hyperextending too high. So you're gonna bring it in, elbow touch those knees, and drive it out again. Let's go two more, all right, guys? In and extend with an out breath. In, and extend again, guys. Really control it. Last one, and here we go. I'm gonna give a little change for the beginners. All you have to do, guys, one arm up, just bring it all the way in and out. All the way in and out. If you wanna do the legs first, go out and in. Maybe you can do both together. Here's the thing, we gotta do both sides. So we now go back down again. Advanced version, extend both at the same time, and elbow to knee, extend. Elbow to knee, extend, work on that breathing, work on those abs, work on your flexibility, work on your core stability, and there you have it. That is your bird dog with a crunch. Exercise five, my favorite of the day. It's a Spider-Man lunge with a downward dog. We love our yoga, you know that. Here it is. Nice, good plank position. Shoulder, hands in line. Head down, abs tight. Again, no hyperextension. Rotate that pelvis forwards, please. Pull your abs in as tight as you can. Really get that warm-up going. So we're gonna lunge that left foot to your left hand. Out it comes. Work on that rotation of your hips, please. And breathe out as you do it. Inhale back. Other side, right to right. Really try and get as far forward as you can. And back, you go to neutral. From neutral, downward dog. Push that butt all the way back, please, guys. So again, huge stretch through your shoulders, through your back through your ass, through your hamstrings, and through your calves. Back down to neutral, control it. We're gonna go one more time. Go out, left, and back. Out, right, and back. And here comes that downward dog. Really stretch all the way through. 
Oh, feels good. And there you have it. That is your fifth exercise, Spider-Man to a downward dog. So guys, that's five ways to a dynamic warm up. Remember guys, always, always, always warm up. Hashtag it guys, five ways. I'm Chris Ty Walker, post it on Twitter, post it on Facebook, comment beneath me. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great workout.